Interior day, a primary school classroom. A group of primary school aged children, ages five to seven, sit in a classroom on the floor and Lily, Lily, Fern and Shane are their education clothes. They are confined in a carpeted area at the front of the room. They try not to step on the They're singing a song about science. Welcome to the story laboratory where we find the science in the story. Who? The what? The why? And the when? We'll figure it out till we get to the end. We'll need you and your big ones too. To help us solve the science that's tricky to do with the book in our hands. We're ready to go! And today's story is... My, my dad went to Morrison's, you know, to McDonald's and like he's going to get me chicken nuggets but he went like three weeks ago and I don't know like when he's going to come um, back. No, it's, uh, it's actually chicken licking. Hello, it's me, chicken licking. <laughs> You're not a chicken. Uh, yes, I am. I've got wings. See, I'm a friendly little chicken and, and I think the sky is falling in. And I'm Foxy Loxy. And I'm hungry. Watch out, chicken licking. Watch out, chicken licking. He's behind you. Hello, I'm Casey Periwinkle, and I'm part of the Story Scientist Police. And this is not a panto. Can you please sit down? Yeah, see, if that wee foxy loxy tried to get in my house, I'd tell him no way. No way you're getting in my house, foxy loxy. I'm going to tell you right where to go, and it's not my house. PC Periwinkle said, please take a seat so we can see what happens next. Oh, the sky is falling in, the sky is falling in. No, it's not, it's just an acorn. Silly chicken. I love chicken. My granny's taking me to McDonald's over by Morrison's after school today. And I'm going to get nuggets. They're my favourite. Wait. Oh, oh no, um, are McDonald's chicken nuggets made from chicken? Is chicken nugget going to be made into McNugget? One child in the back starts crying a little bit. <laughs> Here we clock and go. Serious thing. Park of Inverlochy Primary School. Lily is sat in the driver's seat of the van with the window open. Fern, Seamus and Jay are loading the van. Well, that show was complete ass. Why was the teacher not saying anything? She was just sat there letting them be complete animals. God, I hope the teacher doesn't complain about the nuggets thing on the feedback forms. Don't worry, I did not give her a feedback form. Guys, is that the last of the stuff? We need to hit the road soon. The B&B won't let us check in after five for some reason. Where are we even going again? Balakulish. Bless you. Seamus, that wasn't a sneeze. That's where we're going. Oh, well, shotgun then. Seamus. He comes to the passenger side of the front of the van. He sits on top of Fern, who's already sitting there. Move! Interior van day. Fern reads off her phone, Lily drives, Jay and Seamus are in the back. Right guys, we've only got the one show tomorrow. It's in a local church hall for a group of girl guides. And it's also not until 2. 2pm? Guys, you know what that means. Night out, here we clock and go! No, oh, thank God. I've had a wreck of a show yesterday. I need a drink. In Balakulish? But where would we even go? Surely there's at least a wee old man pub somewhere near the B&B. Hey, well, should we start praying now, then? Um, I've got some vodka in my backpack. For fuck's sake, Seamus, was that in your backpack when we were in the school? Oh, maybe we could play some wee games to make the time go faster. Lil, you're driving. I just want to be involved. Lil, come on, we did that play and pretend shite with the kids all day. Jay, we're actors, we play pretend for a living. Okay, fine, no games, but since I'm driving, I was thinking I could maybe pick the music first. Fair play. 
here, Fern, can you log into my Spotify and play my Songs to Make Me Happy Yay playlist? It's on my phone. Lily, this playlist is six hours. And it's literally just top thumping by Chawamba. Over and over again. Tune, slap it on. Tell me, Fern, what do you do when you get knocked down? I get knocked down. But I get up again, no, you're never gonna get me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again, no, you're never gonna get me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again, no, you're never gonna get me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again, no, you're never gonna get me down. Are we done? Down. Yeah, I'm good. Yes, yeah, pretty repetitive song. Billy, can you stop at the petrol station? I need the toilet. Sure, why not? Please stop at a petrol station. Um, I'm just going to grab a coffee. Um, Fern, can you put the petrol in? Fern gets out and Jay steals the front seat. Lily, now sitting next to Jay, is staring intently at her phone. What you looking at? Oh, um, I was just thinking of a text to send someone. Ooh, a boy. Is that the long distance one? Um, well, not for long. He's actually visiting his parents who live near here, and I was gonna see if he wanted to meet up. He says he wants to take it to the next level. It's just so awkward, though. I've never, like, you know, like, like... What? Like, sent a dirty text. Like, sex thing? Yeah, he's super into it, and... I just don't know what to say. Just say what you like to do to him, that sort of thing. Like, I want to tickle your pickle? Oh, Lily, no, like, porn stuff. I've never seen porn. What? Fern gets back in the car. What's happening? Lily's never seen porn. What? Lil, how old are you? 21. No way. Seamus enters the van carrying a call. What's up? Lily's never seen porn. Lily starts the car. Right, well, Lily, Jay's not been drinking. Let him drive and you look up some porn right now. I'm turning his van around. Look, we're here for you. Jay and Lily swap seats. Just search for what you want to see. Nothing came up. What do you mean? They literally have everything. It says no results. Here, let me see. Oh my God, cuddles isn't a porn category, Lil. Try something else. It happened again. Well, what did you search this time? Mutual love and respect. Maybe, maybe porn isn't for you. Guys, what's that smell? Farmland? We passed some cows. Yeah, ages ago. Oh my god, there it is again. What the hell is that? A factory? We're in the middle of nowhere. How the hell could that be a factory? Some toxic waste? Anyone leave a hard-boiled egg in here somewhere? Oh god. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It smells like a dead body in here. I, I can't stop farting. Jesus, you need to see a doctor, Seamus. That is absolutely lethal. Excuse me, but I'm lactose intolerant and I accidentally drank a cappuccino with whole milk. And why the hell would you do that? Oh, well, maybe next time you'll let, you'll let me ride shotgun. This is about shotgun. Guys, we're here. And there's a pub. They get out of the car and walk into the B&B. Interior, b and safe. They open the door and stand in an empty entranceway. The entire place is decked out with cow paraphernalia everywhere. Hello? An old woman comes shuffling out in a pink fluffy bathrobe and slippers. She looks like she just woke up. Oh, well, you must be the group from Glasgow. You're late. I was already in my bed. You should have called ahead. It's only ten past five. And I swallowed 14 melatonin pills at 4.59. Now, will you be wanting breakfast tomorrow? It's served from 6.30 to 7.
I think we'll manage. Well, all right then. Uh, here are your keys for the door and uh, the room. So, um, yeah, just leave them on the table when you leave. The old lady slowly shuffled away. They walk upstairs. I, I feel like they're watching me. Who? The cows. Now, don't talk about Fern and Lily that way. <laughs> Can we please just get drunk now? Interior, Seamus to Jay's room. They enter the room. There is only one double bed. No fucking way. Absolutely not. Jay, we are not doing this again. I refuse to talk and tell like last time. God, I'm going to call the head office. This is not on. Amy and Patrick have been skimping out on the budget again. I want separate rooms, never mind separate beds. Aaron stands in the door frame, arms crossed. Doubt it. All the other rooms seem to be booked. So there's no vacancy. Oh, for goodness sake, how am I going to go and seduce repressed stupid twinks now? Are you joking? Same as I haven't gotten laid in months. I literally live with my 86 year old grandmother. Topping and tailing with you is the closest thing I've come to topping anything in months. Lily enters and stands next to Fern. I have literally no idea what any of that means. Look, neither of you are going to get laid tonight. We're in the middle of nowhere. Lily leaves. Is that a challenge for them? All right. Whoever brings someone back first gets the bed. Loser has to sleep. What? No. Lily comes back with a bottle of Buckfast and some colourful buckets. Okay, so there's no glasses, so we'll have to use these. But someone did leave this bottle behind. Lily, are those the buckets from the show that the kids yell into with all their disgusting child germs learn about the science of sound? You know, the ones that we never clean because we're, we're too lazy. Lily has already poured the Buckfast into the buckets and is drinking it. She looks up and smiles. Her lips are purple. Bucket fast. Seamus and Jay join her. Fern goes over to Seamus' bag, pulls out the bottle of vodka, and takes a massive swig. So, let me get this straight. Jay has never gotten laid, and Seamus wants to top a chick or twink? Well, I have. It's just that living with my mum and dad has put a bit of a damper on the situation. And you're not exactly a Lothario, Lily, are you? Oh, and I'm sure being a touring children's performer is really helping us all out in that department. Fern, are you seeing anyone? Oh, please don't ask about my personal life. Well, your man won't even text you back. We're up the road from his house. Hey, it's still very new. I just don't know where we stand. Lily, I once got on a plane to see a girl I was dating. We had only been together for six weeks. How long have you been texting this dude? On and off for two years. Patch him! Oh God, I wish I had someone to patch. Look, can we please just go to the pub now? All right, you guys coming? You know what? Your challenge has been accepted. I'm gonna ask him to meet up. Don't let him waste your time. Come to the pub. Lily shoots him a look. Okay. Well, we'll be downstairs. Come join whenever. Lily stares at her phone and types and untypes the message a few times. She bites her lip and looks up. Fuck it fast! Fine. What's up? Do you want to be a children's performer, like, forever? Look, I'm 28 years old. I'm drunk. And it's a Wednesday night in Balakulish. I accidentally sat on a tambourine earlier in the van and cried a little bit. So, is that a yes? Most of my friends are on 30k a year. They have mortgages. They're getting married. I just drank book fast out of a bucket. And I've got an MA in acting from RADA. So, you'd be open to exploring new acting roles? Breaking away from PC Periwinkle. Oh, he hell yeah. <laughs> Interior, day, pub. Seamus and Jay walk into the old man pub. There are three old men in there and no one else. Well, I guess this is the place to be.
They order pints and sit down next to two old men who are sitting next to each other and not speaking. They take a slow sip. Interior, B and B, stay. Karen is wearing her PC periwinkle costume. How is this any different from being PC periwinkle? You're pretending to be an actual police officer. And what's my motivation for the character? You're investigating my murder. What? Look, I've been talking to this guy and we're going to go to his family home and you're going to tell him I died and ask him questions about if he knows anything about how he knew me and if he knew anything about my disappearance. Wait, why are we doing this again? You'll ask him what his relationship to me was and then I'll know where we stand. So, I'm impersonating a police officer. So you can know if some guy thinks of you as his girlfriend. You're playing a role. And you can't just patch this guy. Lily puts the police hat on Fern's head and shakes her head no. Cut to interior pub day. Do you want to order onion rings? Go. A male bartender walks past and locks eyes with Seamus and raises an eyebrow. Jay, whose back is turned to the waiter, follows Seamus' gaze and mouth. Is that the Chukter twink? Seamus nods yes, solemnly. Seamus looks at the bathroom and back at the waiter. Seamus gets up slowly, walks to the bathroom, and the waiter follows. Jay sits alone and takes a sip of his pint. He nods solemnly to the two old men who are sat next to him. Exterior, early evening. Fern and Lily are squatting behind bushes looking at the house. Fern is in her full police wear. All right, go Chappie store. Are you sure about this? According to snap maps, he's there. Go ask him. Fern goes up and knocks on the door. A tall guy in his early 20s answers. Lily looks panicked as she watches behind the bushes. Fern goes full method, taking out her notepad as she writes down his responses. Why doesn't he look more sad? I just died. <sighs> Fern and the guy start hitting it off, laughing. Lily mouths, what the fuck was that? As she remains behind the bushes. Fern finishes her conversation and comes over to the booth. You thank me for my services as an officer? I guess I'm pretty convincing. What did he say? Oh, right. Um, he said he only knows you from a seminar that you guys were both in in the second year of uni. That it was a shame that you were murdered, but he couldn't help because he doesn't know you that well. He Look, he, he's a lovely guy, though. He's, he's quite good looking as well, too, actually. Um, he was with his girlfriend. They just started dating, but she's up to meet his parents. I, I just thought he... I was stupid to think he even liked me. He'd, like, take two weeks to text me back. Oh, hey, it's okay. I'm still drunk. The night is young. And our show isn't till two tomorrow. Walk back towards the B&B and pub. Interior, pub, <sighs> night. Lily and Fern come into the pub to find Jay sitting all alone with his half-drunk pint. Oh, thank God you guys are here. Seamus left 45 minutes ago and I... Felt like an old man sitting in an old man pub. This place is lively. One of the old men belches. Suddenly, a group of 40 middle aged women wearing bedazzled vests and t shirts that say Fort William Show Choir come into the pub, ordering drinks and singing karaoke. I think things just got a lot more interesting. Are we going to show them how real actors do it? We're children's theatre performers. Speak for yourself, I went to Rada. Fine. What are we going to say? I think I have an idea. Fern smiles at Lily. Fern, Lily and Jay sing top something. The show choir ladies join in and give them their sparkly vests and feathers. This is the night away. This is the night away. Interior. B and B Hall night. Thanks for that, guys. It was really fun. Fucking love a 2 p.m. start. They go into their rooms. 
Interior, C and B, boys' room, night. Jay fumbles around in the dark and falls onto the empty bed. He turns over and turns the lamp on the side table on. Seamus and the waiter stare back at him from the opposite side of the room. The waiter is standing in his boxers and Seamus is about to take them off. Seamus! What the fuck? Is this like a threesome situation? Absolutely not. Jay, you said whoever brought someone back to the room first gets the room. Are you guys together? Listen, I'm down for whatever. I'm just trying to figure out the dynamic here. I didn't think you'd actually sag. Where are the boundaries? Lily and Fern come running into the room. Guys, what's going on? Why are you shouting? Oh, I see. This is just a straight up orgy. Gross. I think I'll just go. Waiter, don't go. You don't even know my name. I just stepped in the park fast bucket and I think my foot is stuck. What is the meaning of all this noise? What are all these people doing in here? The glasses on. Alistair, is that you? Hi, Gran. Uh, sorry for waking you up. Where are your trousers? Oh, God. Right. Guests have complained about the noise. All of you, out! Get your things, you've woken me up twice, which is two times too many. You are no longer welcome here. <sighs> Alistair, go and find me melatonin, and I won't tell your mother that you've skived work again. They leave and pick up their things. Interior hall of b, &B night. Where are we going to go? Exterior van night. The four of them are sleeping squashed together in the back of the van. I do not care that our show isn't till two. This is the last time we are drinking on tour. Seamus lets out a fart. End. <laughs>